Hello there and welcome to this video all about emailing. So a student request has come in and they've asked for a quick and simple emailing system that we can send emails to and from certain email addresses. So yep, no problem, we'll get cracking straight away. And you can see on this form here, um, I have five text boxes and I've got five labels. And my labels just say to, uh, sorry, from, P word, password, that's email to, subject and the body. I've got text boxes here, which I'm gonna quickly name while I'm here. So this is txt from, this is txt P word. And also while I'm there, I will set the, where is it, which one is it? Password char, I'll set that to an asterisk. And I've got an email to, so let me find that. So txt email to txt subject and then txt body. And also on the body one, I will just set the multi-line property if I can find it. Multi-line is true. And I'll just extend that just to give them a bit more room to play with. And that's it. I've got a button there that's called button one at the minute. I need to change that to BTN send. And that's it, job done. So that's my form. If I double click this send button, this is gonna be where the action's gonna happen. And the first thing I wanna set up is something called a try catch block. So it will try to run the code, okay? If it doesn't, if it fails for whatever reason, we're gonna output the error here. So we can run whatever code in there and if any line of code fails, we run the catch exception in the bottom part. So at the top of my program, in order to email, I need a certain import. So if I just put imports at the top and I go for system net mail, and that's just a simple import that gets us all the properties we need to actually send things. I'm gonna create a variable, I'm gonna call this mail I'm gonna set it up as a new mail message. Not mail address, mail message. Okay, so now mail has that property. And what we can do is we can also set up, uh, we're gonna use SMTP, that's our protocol, simple mail transfer protocol. And that's for this email system. So there we are, so SMTP server as new SMTP, S SMTP client. Okay, now for this, I'm gonna use uh, a Gmail. Gmail account, so Gmail servers. And you can create a, a fake Gmail account just to test this out if you really want to. And I'm gonna say mail dot. Now, the reason why I can do that is because mail has been called up here and I've given it a new um, mail message. So I've passed all the properties or the methods into there and you can see all the different options I've got tons of options and I'm going to use the from option so where we're we mailing from and I'll say new mail address and then I provide as a parameter I will provide the mail address from my text box so that's my from box I need the text property from there no validation because we're trying to keep this short. But this basically, when you type your from email, that'll get passed into a new mail address and then it'll go to the from part of the mail command. Then I've got mail to, and I want to add where is it going to. So txt email to. Need the text property from that, so dot text. So we've got our to and from sorted. And the next thing is what? is gonna be the subject of the email. And this comes from our TXT subject. So this is the subject line in our email. And then I've got the mail body. So the actual bulk of the email itself will go in the body part of the email. And that is my TXT body. And there we go. So I've got my from, my to, my subject, and my body. The next thing to do now is to fire it out on my SMTP server. And what we do here is we use, uh, we pick a port and port 587. So this is the default mail port that we use from our computers. SMTP server um, dot, oh, 
credentials, new system, dot net, Ooh. network credential. Now what we do is we, we set up a new credential and what we're doing is we're passing our from email address and we're providing also our password because we have to basically authenticate and log in to our accounts in order to send this in the first place. I've missed an E out of text there. So there's my credentials. Now it's important that when we're doing this, um, don't use your college accounts because the security probably won't let you access this on the server. Um, you're probably gonna have to test it using a fake um, Gmail anyway. So what we do then is we enable secure socket layers, and that is true. And then what we do is we send, or we we'll give it a send request. So SMTP server, oh, wrong one, SMTP server. And then we use the send command and we pass it in the parameter of mail. Because mail, remember, has our from, our to, our subject and our body and that gets passed in as a parameter. And then what I like to do is I like to just say message box sent. I'll just inform the user that that's happened and all is well. Because if it's not well or if something goes wrong, then it will run the, the error part at the bottom. So in order to print out our error or whatever error we have, we'll message box, we'll use ex which is our exception. So ex is this thing here. So that's our information about our exception. And we use the message comma VB critical. So that's just the little uh, graphic on that box there if anything goes wrong. And that's it. And we're done. Simple as that. So what we'll do now is we'll test it. As it opens up, I'll bring it onto your screen. Type in my email, password, I'm going to email it to jbr at osfc.ac.uk and my subject will be, this is a test, hello everyone, and I click send, and then my email system says sent. I click OK and now wait for the email to arrive in my inbox. And just to prove that that's actually happened, then there we are. So at the top there, there is my subject line. Here is my body and it's arrived in my work inbox. So very good. And that's it for our little emailing system. Hopefully you can get yours up and running and doing just the same as mine.